Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the fun, exciting, inspiring and interesting events that are coming up in the arts and cultural life of London and the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's on in London. Telling the story of the legendary prince Fakhr ad-Din, the book reading of Renaissance Emir, a Druze warlord at the court of the Medici, will take place at the Mosaic Rooms in West London. It is the UK launch of author Ted Gordon's biography of the mysterious Levantine prince who challenged the Ottoman Empire at its height in the 1600s. Fakhr ad-Din was famous for taking along with him a diverse party of Muslim, Christian and Jewish Levantines on their first visit to the so-called Lands of the Christians in Rome. This special literature event will include a book reading by the author and live music performances. The book launch will take place on Thursday 16th of April and for more information just go to mosaicrooms.org. P21 Gallery in Central North London is presenting the pop-up exhibition Autonomous Gallery. The gallery settles on a key theme which they then set through art, visual information and direct communication. Hoping to raise awareness, provoke discussion and awaken curiosity, this time around the theme being explored is conflict and future of the Middle East. The exhibition is on now and until Saturday 25th of April and for more information just go to p21.org.uk. A double bill play, Game Theory, is playing at the Tristan Bates Theatre in central London. Two plays explore two patients questioning what difference their choices make when medical science has the power to erase the sins of the past and shield you against the dangers ahead. It is a play about hymenoplasty and genomic sequences and follows the characters' dilemmas whether to change their bodies and whether to genome sequence their newborn baby. The play, called Membrane and Mutiny, have opened and are on until Saturday 18th of April. For more information, go to tristanbasetheatre.co.uk. Now, let's go to the Middle East and see what's on there. In Lebanon and Beirut, the exhibition Art Nature Creature is opened by artist Soraya Halal. Besides being a fine artist, this talented Lebanese lady is also an interior designer with a successful business. She looks at nature's relationship with art and develops that relationship into the colorful creatures that appear on her canvas. Her solo exhibition, Art Nature Creature, is on until Thursday, 16th of April at Akeep Exode. And for more information, you can email them at info at And finally, the highly anticipated film and Comic Con weekend is coming up in Dubai. Film stars, comic sketch le legends and film buffs alike will mingle in these dazzling three days filled to the maximum with anything a geeky comic heart desires. Among other stars, X-Files' Gillian Anderson will be there along with legendary Captain Kirk William Shatner and a special focus this year will be on the hugely popular Asian manga comics with famous and loved manga cartoonists present at the festival. The festival takes place Thursday 9th till Saturday 11th and you can find all the information along with tickets at mefcc.com. Time has come now to check out the Arabesque episode of the week. Our next Arabesque episode is out, a report about the Kaftan Fashion Festival in West London. We were at the festival which saw 11 international female designers along with 50 exhibitors celebrating Middle East female modern design along with encouraging women to start their own business. We had a chance to meet some of these special ladies along with enjoying the fabulous catwalk at the Ziryop show. You can catch all of this on levant.tv slash arabesque. Well, that's all for now, folks. Thank you for joining us. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and in the Middle East. Till then, take good care.